Hello, what's up everybody? This is Fear GFX. Uh, I uh, promised to do a um, uh, remake of my basing tutorial, how to make cork bases. And that's what you're going to see today. So, get that out of the way. <clears throat> so, cork bases, what will you need? Of course, first and foremost important. Focus, yes, thank you. Uh, you need a, a base. Of course, to base your miniature on. Uh, what else do you need? I need the camera at the focus. That's what I need. Come on. Yeah, there we go. For, furthermore, you need some cork to make the base look cool. Uh, the cork I use, I use uh, cork mats like this. And um, you can get those practically anywhere. These are meant to put cups on and glasses on, so you won't get those nasty little um, uh, those nasty rings. Let me put the exposure down. There we go. Um, on the table, so I use those, tear them up like this, and use that for bases. So, um, of course, the end result will be something like this. By the way. Uh, let's get the light in a little bit more. There. Uh, bases like this. So, uh, what what else do you need? Put me the exposure down a little bit more. Just playing with the settings still. I mean, I got this. Uh, I just recently got this camera. Some of you might have seen the video. Um, uh, put the contrast up. Maybe? No. Ooh, contrast is good. There we go. Yeah. Right. So, um, so you need core, you need the base, you need super glue. I'm using the silver super glue, but as long as you're using any kind of super glue, that'll be fine. To glue, glue the cork to the base, you'll need um, PVA glue, white glue. And again, I'm using this Games Workshop one, but you can use any white glue you want. You need uh, a pencil, uh, you need um, a brush to apply the uh, uh, PVA glue um, and you're gonna need some basing material, oh crap, get the lid off you're gonna need some basing materials uh, the mix I'm using is a mix of um, the Citadel sand and I'm using uh, one of the kits or the, one of the packages from Craft World Games. Um, that's a company in the UK, I guess. Uh, and they have like these um, uh, scenic base kits for um, whatever industrial. Uh, environments, cityscape environments and they have this mega environment base kit with 28 bags of flock and gravel and sand and stuff and I just threw in uh, a couple of the largest uh, rocks and sands that were in there uh, but it's pretty it's pretty pretty diverse what's in there so that's pretty good I'll put a link to their mega environment base kit in my comments uh, so if you're looking for a large amount of different basic materials, uh, you can look there. So, um, what else? No, that's basically it. Um, so what do you do? Get the camera back in view. Yeah, what do you do? You're going to take your cork and your base. You're going to apply the super glue to the base. Put the cork on. I have prepped one. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> And you wanna take uh, some some notice of what kind of shape cork you use. Of course, you can cover the entire base with cork, but if you want to have like like I did with this one, a place where your miniature can stand properly without like having too much stones in there. Um, what I did is because your miniature is gonna stand one foot here and one foot here, basically like 90% of the time. The space in the middle is pretty 
useless. So what I did is I made a little indent here, broke it down a little further. Uh, so you have a little space here to put a stone or some grass or some extra sand or a skull if you're a fantasy player or a chaos player or whatever or paint lava on or I don't really care but you're gonna have some extra space for some extra scenics uh, that's what I did with this one here this is a little indent uh, so how I'm figuring out is that the miniature is gonna stand one foot here one foot here and kinda look in this direction because there's not much much going on around here so you wanna have take that into account like if you have a miniature what way is he looking how is he standing that's because the front of the base should be a little bit more interesting than the back of course um at least that's how i did it i i would do i do it and i'm still pretty new to the hobby but i've been getting some compliments on my bases so i guess let's show how we do it right anyway um right this the base i prepped this base let's get this out like that out of the picture right so we have the base now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some pva glue and i usually put just put that in a little um pellet i use for painting and whatever so i'll have enough of it and won't be stuck with like too much because I'm using the, the dumbass PVA glue from this workshop, which doesn't really work that well because it's in the tube thing. Whatever. Alright, anyway, um, PVA glue. Get some of the PVA glue in your brush. You can use any kind of brush you want. Just use an old one because it's kind of messy and it'll stiffen out your brush if you don't clean it up properly. So what you want to do is you want to get at least this side. I mean, you need to get a good amount of PVA glue in here. You want to have the front interesting. Get a little bit on it as well, on the rocks. A little bit more. And make little blobs of where you want like the big stuff to stick on. So let's get it in a few focus. Thank you. Like that. Put a little bit more on the front and a little bit less on the top so the big rocks won't really stick there put some on the back as well leave some spots out of it like there that, that looks pretty decent so that away and with the gravel or the basic material whatever you're using this can also be be grass but i usually use um sand and rocks first and then use grass or whatever as you can see there's like a big variety of stuff in there there's like really thin stuff and there are some bigger rocks and whatever and there's some sand in there of course so what you want to do is dunk it in there really good press real hard so that whatever's on there will be stuck tap it off oh that's pretty dark tap it off clean the sides that just gives a nice clean look to your miniature when it's done just swipe it off like that there you go so that's basically how you get oh, there's a little, little part that's loose there that's basically how you make the beginning you can give it another go or just randomly add some dots of white glue and add the bigger rocks later if they didn't stick on like i want to have this big rock over there i can just get a little bit of glue put it in there just take that one off because it's annoying me there get the brush away get the rock put it in there So, uh, then we're going to wait for this to dry. Um, I didn't set up a new one. Oh my god. Alright. So, but what you want to do after this dries is get your PVA glue again. Get some water. And water it down. Like, 
50-50 or something. Mix it well up. Get a nice and thin consistency. There. It's pretty good. You need it to be thicker than milk. Um, just a bit though. Not too thick. Alright, let's put that away. And you'll take your base, and I usually just grab it with uh, some tweezers or something. Because it could get a little bit messy. So, hold it like that. And just dunk it upside down into your PVA mix with water. What I'll do... Dry a little bit. Come on, there. There is the result, and what you can do then is take a paper towel or something, or whatever you want, some tissues, or and just put it upside down there to dry. Let's put this away because that will get messy if I tap it there. Um, all right, we want to get the majority of the. Why uh, the your PVA glue mixed with water off again? But you, what this does basically is it'll seal in uh, your um, your sand and your rocks, so that uh, if you're painting it, especially if you're dry brushing it, um, it won't come off as easily because of the second layer of PVA glue. One second. I'm sorry. There we go. Sand free. Alright, so you need to let this dry. It'll take about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour to, for it to be really dry. Um, and what then? Of course, you know, um, you can dry brush it. You can paint it up uh, like I did with this one. What I did with this one is I gave it, at first I, uh, I spray painted it black, of course. Gave it a coat of scorched brown. It's a good wash citadel color, scorched brown. Uh, then did the uh, snake bite leather. Uh, then give it a coat of sunburst yellow, I think. Oh no, golden yellow, golden yellow. All right, I'll put the. Let's get just get the uh, the colors. Show you guys first. Oh, first layer after spraying it black was scorched brown then I used snake bite leather uh, and snake bite leather was dry brushing it on then I used golden yellow again dry brushing it on uh, decreasing the amount of paint I used um, after that I gave it a wash of gryphone sapia um, to darken it up again and to give it a slightly different tint and after that I dry brushed it with Ooh, that's a bit ah, there we go bleach bone and that gave me this result so uh, after you get this what can you do you can get the PVA glue again get it back and dip something like a toothpick or something in there. I'm going to use my pointer here because I don't care. It's a sculpting tool, whatever. Just get some PVA glue in there. And this is watered down, so um, I don't know if it's going to work that well, but you'll get an idea. So put in some PVA glue. Wipe that off. And then get your grass, static grass. I didn't... I, I didn't use that. I didn't think I was going to do it that far in the tutorial. Static grass. So what you're going to do now is you get your tweezer. Pick up some grass. A nice little lump. See? 
And what you're gonna do then is that into your PVA glue there. And you're gonna tap it off again. And you'll have like this nice little grassy area there. And you can just remodel it a little bit as long as the paint is wet, uh, the glue is wet. You can just keep pushing it and pulling it till you have it like you want it. I'm gonna, just, I'm just gonna take it off. Get me a dry brush. Uh, just wipe that off. There. So. And that's basically how I make my bases. So remember, um, you need bases, uh, glue, cork, um, and your basing materials. And it's okay to mix up your basing materials a lot. Because if you look at nature, uh, you have a lot of different things lying around, even in the desert or something. So, um, yeah, that's basically how I do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Or please don't, just ignore it then. <laughs> um, focus. Yeah. And uh, whatever. Uh, either way, leave a comment. Let me think what you think. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm sorry. Um, because that will just help me improve my videos in the future. Because I will just keep making them whatever. So, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.